Well, good morning. I'm Matt Sizemore. Voters in the Boise School District headed to the polls Tuesday to elect three members to the district's board of trustees. Six candidates were vying for the three spots, but with just over 5,800 people casting a ballot, it was Alicia Esty, Maria Greeley, and Troy Roan who came out on top pretty evenly splitting the votes. The board consists of seven total members who each serve six year terms. Trustees who work as volunteers and receive no compensation set policy for the school district. Well, over Labor Day weekend, arrests and DUI served as a reminder that the three day holiday is one of the most dangerous of the year. Among the police agencies we talked with, Idaho State Police, the Canyon County Sheriff's Office, as well as statistics from Ada County Sheriff's Office, dozens were arrested on DUI and suspicion of DUI charges over the weekend. Labor Day marks the last of the 100 most dangerous days on the roads. The Boise State football team is full of phenomenal athletes. Senior cornerback and captain Tyler Horton is one player putting his talents on display after one game. And after that, an impressive debut with not one but two touchdowns at Troy University last weekend, scooping and scoring on two fumbles. Tyler was named the Mountain West Defensive Player of the Week. With the Broncos taking the blue turf for the first time this season against UConn September 8th and the Broncos have another late kickoff this Saturday. It's at 8.15 p.m. at Albertson Stadium against UConn. The Broncos are ranked 19th in the coaches poll and 20th in the AP poll heading into this week. Well, now it's time for a check of the On Your Side forecast. Rachel Garceau standing by. Good morning, Rachel. Hey there, Matt. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Those football players will have a hot time of it at practice today. And for the rest of the week, we're looking at temperatures jumping into the mid-90s for today after just the upper 80s for the last couple of days. 95 are expected high for Boise today. We may also start seeing that smoke start to trickle back in. Not out of the question as we have our upper level flow coming out of the southwest, which could carry some smoke in from those fires still burning in Northern California. Across the board in the Treasure Valley, we're looking at mid 90s. We'll see right about 90 degrees in the Twin Falls area today. Very warm and sunny even up in the mountains. We're talking mid 80s for McCall and Haley. Their temperatures there warmer than even Boise's average daytime high for September 5th. So abnormally warm September weather. It'll continue through tomorrow, but tomorrow Thursday we throw some moisture into the mix. So there's a very slim chance across central and southern Idaho of seeing a couple of stray storms or showers, but in general it will be hot and sunny with mid 90s on tap through Friday. Then just in time for that Boise State home opener on Saturday, we get cooler weather with a breeze mid 80s through early next week, and then we're looking at mid 70s by the middle of next week. For your very latest news and weather headlines, be sure to visit sixonyourside.com.